catching up on the news. Looks like you had quite an adventure with Shocker tonight. Yeah, he was unusually combative. Anyway, thanks again for dinner. What do I owe you? How about a favor? You still have that mask from the gallery? Yeah, I'm actually on my way to the Feast Center now to ask Martin Lee about it. Martin Lee? Why? He has a degree in art history. If anyone knows about the origins of that mask, he will. Just keep me in the loop. Like I said, I think there's a bigger story here, and I plan to be the one to break it. Uh, sure. So I can call you, like, whenever? Yeah, whenever, whatever. All right, guys, so Drew Kiro with cool. another episode of Spider-Man. Now you heard that bit of dialogue in the last episode, and if you can't tell, I'm wearing a bit of a different suit. I was feeling kind of animated, so I thought we'd wear the old comic book suit. I think it's one of my favorites just because I think it's unique seeing the contrasting art styles from the game and to the suit. So, we are going on to talk to Martin Lee about the mask. Almost morning. Mr. Lee will be here soon. I could use a snack. Oh, I thought we were about to listen to Jonah for a second. I thought we were about to have a good old time. Texting and eating my burgers. Where's my pockets? I don't have pockets. I don't know why this really bothers me. Mr. Lee's usually in his office now. What, do you often follow Lee and see what he's up to? I need the stairs. God grant me some strength. Girl, you have strength. You just gotta stick with it. Now where's his office? There it is. Peter. I do for you. I'm sorry to bother you, Mr. Lee. I have a friend, Mary Jane. She's a reporter. She's doing a story on art imports, and she found this piece. She wanted an expert opinion on it, and I know you have a degree. And this might be the first time I actually get to use it. Let's see what you have. Interesting. Where'd she find it? I I'm really not sure. Why? What is it? A replica of an antique Chinese opera mask. I haven't seen one in years. This symbol here roughly translates to demon. Demon? Well, my father read me ghost stories with that mask and symbol in it when I was young. Scared the hell out of me. Peter, listen. That mask, it's... It could be connected to dangerous people. Mary Jane might want to find a different story. Do you think she's in trouble? Uh, I don't know. Why take the risk? Hey, that is a little creepy, you know. Hey. The symbol inside the mask means demon. It really spooked Mr. Lee. Never seen him like that. He even said you should drop the story. Fat chance. Do you think Mr. Lee knows more than he's letting on? No, I think he just had Hi. a weird flashback are... or something. I know his childhood was pretty traumatic. Yeah, that makes sense. Demons, huh? Catchy name. Okay, gotta get writing. See you soon. Game is rough on well, Chinese people. That went about as well as I could have hoped. Chinese did not deserve this man. Now there's a good looking suit. Doesn't match anything that's happening. <laughs> no. Peter, you have no crotch. I'm sorry. Alright, so what are we doing now? Where am I being sent? Got some time to kill before Doc needs me at the lab. Let's do a little spidey workout in the city. Hey, sounds good to me. 
Where are we gonna upgrade next? Uh, let's, let's go to Greenwich. Unlock some more surveillance areas there. Biggest thing we wanna do is unlock more of the map so we can get some more things done. So, have you guys played this game yet? If so, what's one of your favorite things to do in it? Firstly, I like to just collect all the stuff and swing around the city. Look at everything it has to offer. Okay. Almost here. Let's run up. Nope, nope. Too far. Too far. Too far. I am unscrambling. Unlocking another tower. Oh yeah. Tell you where I'm about to go. I'm about to go to it. Where's it at? Where's the Avengers Tower? I can't see it from here, I guess. We'll go there eventually. Climb up top. See what we can see. Till then, let's unlock the last district tower. Need officers to respond to a Hello? Peter. It's Dr. Octavius. Oh, hey. What's up? Lance Corporal Texador is here for a fitting. I totally forgot. I mean, I mean, I didn't forget, forget, I just, uh, I'll be there soon. <sighs> this tardiness is starting to become a pattern. Come on, Parker, you're better than this. <sighs> He's right. How did I lose track of time? <sighs> Come on, Parker, you're better than this. About eight minutes out. All right. Looks like we have a crime happening. We'll go stop this crime and then we'll take care of Lance Corporal Textor. Okay. I'm about to teach some young thugs a lesson. Oh. Looks like it's not thugs. Open up. Sorry folks. Hold on to that for me, will you? No one in there. Oh, hold on. Press square to be Spider Man. There you go. Where are you? Everyone's safe. I should let fire and rescue their jobs. That was it. Okay. Save them. Now it's time to help the Lance Corporal and Dr. Octavius. So it's really interesting working with Dr. Octopus in this setting. You know, it's something that people probably haven't seen too much. I mean, I bet if I looked into the comics, I'd find an example of them possibly being together before, but I'm not that knowledgeable in the comic books. I do find them interesting, though. I particularly like the really old ones. When I'm watching comic books, when I watch comic books. When I read comic books, my favorite Avengers comics is the ones from 1963. Man, has superhero genre changed? How does it work? Just like a natural arm. You think of what you want it to do, and... There you go, man. You're doing it. Yes. <laughs> hey. Hey. What do you think you're doing? The site's been declared a safety hazard. Stop that right now! This is highly sensitive equipment. That's it. I'm calling the mayor's office directly. Peter Parker. How the hell are you? That's Speak a bit green. Devil. 
Mr. Osborne. Oh, please. How long have we known each other? It's Mr. Mayor. <laughs> it's Norman. Norman! Norman, what do you think you're doing? The grant agreement you signed has strict safety provisions. This isn't your first violation. <sighs> Those were excused. By me. We should have confiscated this equipment long ago. But... But I've had a breakthrough. <laughs> Thank you for your great service to our country. These folks will escort you to Oscorp Robotics, where you'll receive the latest in prosthetics. No charge. So is he just going to walk out with his? Infractions, is it? I'm trying to help you, Otto. You're free to continue your work in a secure environment at Oscorp. You always were the smartest guy in the room. You haven't changed a bit. Neither of you. Hey, Peter. Harry will be coming back from Europe early next year. Maybe the two of you can start that business you always talked about. This is opportunity knocking. Oh, that'd be creepy. That'd be really creepy. Easy, easy, easy. What an they asshole. Didn't take everything. Maybe we could start over. Peter, there's no we. Without the grant from the city, I can no longer pay you. I need some time to think. If I were you, I'd look for a new job. Man, that stink. I feel bad. I mean, I know who he is. I know who, you know, his alter ego. But to go through that would be rough. You know, you have a dream and then it... <laughs> I'd really... I want to be Spider-Man. This is sad. <laughs> I want to go punch bad guys. Wish I could do something to help Doc. If you call Harry... Ask him to talk to his dad. No. Norman never listens to Harry. He even tried to kill funding for his research stations. Hey, one of those stations is nearby. Should see how they're doing while Harry's in Europe. Let's go see. Must be some way to help Doc. I'll think of something. All right, we're here. Harry left me a message about these before he left for you. Pete, hey, I need a favor. My mom's pet project was research stations that could benefit the public. Now, I launched them, but now that I'm away, Oscorp's gonna shut them down unless they prove their value. I was hoping you could watch them. I left details in each one. Thanks, man. As long as they're here, it's like a part of my mom is, too. Oh, yeah. Well, it's not gonna I can respect bills, that. It sounds like it means a lot to him. I'll do what I can to help. Let's do it. Let's help our help bro the out. Measuring air pollution. The idea is to catch the um, what's the word? Contaminants before they reach toxic levels. Between you and me, I think Oscorp wants this to fail because it might show they're polluting. The amount of polycyclic hydrocarbons in the air is way too high and rising. If it keeps getting worse, people could die. That's Articles a problem. Are concentrating in trouble spots, like mini clouds of smog. I'll swing through them and get samples, then trace them to the source. Did that not count as swinging through? Okay, there we go. Hey, bring me up there. Bring me up to that smog. They are. I gotta swing right through those clouds. Come on, clouds. Give me that stink. 
Come on, let me in. Really? It should not be this hard to sniff pollution. Be visible to the naked eye. The level of toxins must be up there. And gotcha. I'm getting some good stuff. Well, good samples of bad stuff anyway. <laughs> hey, what scientist doesn't sniff toxic chemicals to find out about pollution. <laughs> Got it. You're a scientist, Peter. You know that the best way to solve these issues is to snort them. Oh, I totally went through that smog. Away we go. Feels like I'm breathing from a tailpipe. <laughs> I can relate. And now I won't answer why. Sorry. I just can't. I must be freaking these people out. Uh, what else is new? coming from two types of cars and a faulty smokestack I better get photos I do you think you're gonna get away from me I am the cameraman yeah, Alright, now to get the picture of the smokestack. Best smokestack picture I ever took. The Department of Environmental Protection will take it from here. I should make a green spider costume for Earth Day. <laughs> I'd wear it for well, one of these episodes. Just stop the public health crisis. Oscorp's gonna have a hard time arguing it's not useful. Oh. Spider-Man, Shocker has escaped, and now he's robbing a bank on East 31st. What happened? I thought he was behind bars. He was, but one of the guards just walked up to his cell and released him, then gave him his suit back. I knew Shocker was working for someone. What did you get out of the guard? Wish I could ask him, but he's dead. Whoever made him release Shocker didn't want any loose ends. Damn. Looking at the security footage, the guard was in some kind of trance. And it might have been the lighting, but it looked like his eyes were glowing. Well, that's creepy. Okay, I'll see what I can get out of Shocker when I get to the bank. All right, guys. Time to go round two with Shocker. We're about to teach Herman a lesson. Officers respond. Witness report of an active drug deal. Incident is active near Grand Central. Drugs is bad. Shocker is worse. I'm sorry, I have to pick and choose which crime I'm gonna stop. And if I have to pick any crime to stop, it's probably gonna be that. Herman! Long time no see. Hey, I'm no lawyer, but uh, I'm pretty sure that's a parole violation. Ow. <laughs> Oops, guess we're stuck in here for a while. Wanna play 20 questions? No? How about we come rest? Okay, face punch it is. Ow. 
There's gotta be better ideas. They're all digital now, aren't they? Have it your way. You wanna fight? Let's fight! Hi. Man, can't wait to put you back behind bars so we can talk science. Remember our first fight? Me so young and stupid. You just stupid. You talk so much. Well, that's a matter of opinion. I mean, are there any standard metrics for how much talking oh. one should do? And who determines the ideal ratio of talking versus not talking? Also, oh, come how are you Word per what minute, the heck? syllables per second? Or is it more about how many words one uses to express a single thought? It's all so subjective. If you ask me, some people don't talk to me. Now I can do some real damage. Oh, I th think I Why see. Why are you doing this, Herman? Because if I don't, they'll kill me. Oh God, I'm doing bad. Nope, gotta try something else. Herman, I need you to listen to me. You're being an asshole. No, people don't use banks anymore. You're lucky you found actual cash. If you really want to rob banks, try day trader. It's all the rage. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, no. oh, come on, Herman. Yeah, Herman. You tell me who you're working for. I can help you cut a deal. If I talk, I'm dead. They made that very clear. Oh. Come on, Herman. You're freaking me out, Herman. It's not like you to be afraid of people. Not even sure these guys are people. Could be anything under those. I was. Wait, did you say Max? Ah, oh, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> Alpha cult. Alpha cult. What? Tell me who you're working for. I can help you cut a deal. If I talk, I'm dead. Ultimate difficulty is hard. Okay, so stay in the air. Stay in the air. And don't fuck this up. You're freaking me out, Herman. It's not like you to be afraid of people. Not even sure these guys are people. Be anything under those masks. Wait, did you say masks? Hey, Harmon, quit your shit. Give up now, and we can protect you. No way. You ain't see what I see. Ah, oh, come on, man. Try to cut you a deal. You son of a... Okay, last chance to give up. This time I really mean it. Quit moving! I don't think I should. I'm... Oh. Okay, I was kidding before. Now is your last last chance. Seriously. <laughs> it's nap time. Armin, this is going to really hurt. Oh. You brought this on yourself. Ah. Literally. Listen, man. You did that to yourself. I was going to be nice about it, but you were an asshole. So I don't feel bad. Herman, listen to Peter. Man, he was scared and desperate. These demons are everywhere all of a sudden. You have like two cases of them. That doesn't mean they're everywhere. Okay, Yuri. Shocker's all yours now. 
Good work. We have a special cell waiting for him at the raft. We'll make sure he stays behind bars this time. Also, I'm pretty sure he was working for the Demon Gang. Demon Gang? <sighs> Sounds like a Daily Bugle headline. Hey, the Bugle is a perfectly fine news organization. I'm not sure I'd call it news. Well, I've heard they have some really good reporters. Anyway, <laughs> have you had any more reports on Demon? Uh, guys with masks? Let me get back to you. By the way, how much of a mess did you make inside that bank? Hey, folks. You probably don't want to know. <sighs> Shouldn't have asked. Fight with Shocker took a while. Time to catch up on what I've been missing out in the city. And when he says that, he means that we're going to call it good this episode. Thank you all for watching. Admiring this New York skyline. And can't wait to see you in the next Spider-Man.